I mean, anything that's organic uh -huh. can be composted. Anything that was once alive can be composted. Okay, let's go, this way. You need four things to make compost. Carbon, nitrogen, which is the food, water, and air, oxygen. So we're here to talk about coffee. This, every time I see this, I go, oh, what a lovely bag of nitrogen. There's a lot of other things that is also in this category. Food waste, your food waste from your kitchen. So we've got our nitrogen. Where are we going to get our carbon? In Malaysia, we are the world champions of... Oh, what a lovely bag of carbon. So making compost is that, is that, is getting that balance correct and right. Do it in layers. One, two, three, and boom. That's it. When you add air into it that way, it's also a really good way to engage and talk to your compost. How are you doing? Are you too wet? Are you too dry? Are you too smelly? If it's too smelly, what are you going to do? Add more carbon. Exactly. If it's too dry, it's not going to break down as fast. Just add some water. It's that simple. Let the microbes do the work. Your job is to babysit microbes. If you babysit the microbes and look after the microbes, they will do all the work for you. It starts breaking down. Now, like what? It doesn't matter what and how you're doing it. Please, in an apartment, open, close, never ever walk away with your nitrogen exposed. So therefore, the bugs won't see them, Nothing else sees them, they don't smell them, they don't come to them, because you are beginners. You are not going to compost meat. You are not going to compost fish. You are not going to compost oily things. Believe me, oily oil attracts rats far faster than meat. The reason we do all of this, there's two reasons. One is, you're saving your food waste, your coffee grounds, whatever, from going to landfill. And number two, you're getting that goodness back into your garden.